Hello, my lovelies. I've been working in my big mega junk journal, just covering some an exercise book page. I took a book out of one of my granddaughter's old school books and it had a lot of her writing on it, but I just needed to cover it to strengthen up the paper. This one is so much stronger than this because I've layered lots and lots of different weights of paper on both sides and it's quite strong. But I thought I might like to do some work on one of these pages because the block, whilst the block colour is lovely, I want to add to it. And I've got this beautiful tissue paper that were, I had some Happy Mail that I received in, wrapped in, and I wanted to use that in this book. I know it's Easter, but I don't care. And I'm going to crumple it up so that when I undo it, it is creased when I put it on the page. Now, I think I need to open this out that way. I'm going to pop it up there and then I need to turn this around so that I've got my cloth is protected. And that's better. That makes me feel happy. Okay, I'm going to do two little pieces of it just in case I don't have enough to leave it crumpled. I want the texture to be there. It might make the whole page. It might, oh, it might do. Sweet. Okay, let's leave it that. Get my paintbrush and my mixed media glue. Let's get working on this. I might only get this glued down because I um, I just want to get something up so you can have a look and show you that I am actually working in mega junk. I've got so many journals on the go at the moment, I really am a little bit flummoxed as to what to put up next. You know, work in this one one day, work on that another one, work on another one and... I'm just overwhelming myself a little bit. I'm going fairly heavy handed on this. Don't ask me why, please don't ask me why, I've got no idea. I guess because I can. I've got a whole tub of this glue so I can use it. And this way also, I know it's not going to dry out on me before I get my stuff stuck to it. It does go a long way, but I'm always a little wary that I'm not using enough. I guess that's just a little bit old fashioned of me. You know, the more the merrier sort of thing. I don't know if I should be thinking along those lines. Julie, if you're watching this, let me know, will you, honey? Okay, pop that down there and put the lid back on. I don't want that drying out. All right, now, I haven't got my brass. I'm going to use a bone folder. I don't want that all smooth. I want it to be crinkly wrinkly. Like me, old and wrinkly. But this is young and wrinkly. Now just being careful that I want to get down in contact with the, the glue, but I don't want it to No, it's going to have to be fingers, I think. That way they're not going to push the, the wrinkles out. Oh, this is so pretty. I wish you could feel it. It just feels so wonderful. I don't know what I'm going to do on this page yet. I've got no idea. I just know I wanted to get the 
the tissue down onto it because I thought it is just so pretty. You know, this journal is turning out to be very bright. Oh yeah. Now I don't want to deafen you by getting my dryer going, so I'm going to turn the video off and then dry and come back to you and hope that I can get this edited the right way. Okay, so I will be back in a little while when I've got this dry and we can pick up again and work out what I'm going to put on it. Okay, back shortly. Well, the page is nice and dry. I've left it overnight. So it's all great. Listen to this. Doesn't it sound beautiful? It's all the air and the little, just the little pockets of air moving around in there. I think it's wonderful. And I've worked out what I'm going to put on this page. So I was going through a magazine with a view to throwing the whole thing out, but I saw this and I thought that would be absolutely gorgeous in there. And I can dress it up with some washi tape and some little sticker advertisements. I can put them around the place and leave one side open so that I can put the instructions in there because this is a necklet that I really want to have a, dro a try at making. And it's got the instructions there. I can follow them going by the picture, but I just thought it would be nice if someone can't visualize it, that they've got this inside the journal and they can do with it. So let's get on with trying to work out what I'm gonna do with this. How I'm going to stick it on, I've got as you can see, double-sided tape around the edges up here. I'm going to glue stick these little pieces here. So let's get the glue stick on. Oops. Do not want that little bit going crooked when it's on the page. Okay, that should do it. tape off, the backing tape. Whilst this jacket is lovely and warm, I don't think it's going to be a good one for crafting in because it's sort of, the arms don't come into the wrist or the sleeves don't come into the wrist. But I'm not going to change it right now because I've only just started chatting to you. And I don't want to have to run away right now. Whoops. Go over there, buddy. Come off there, you. So from something that was going to be thrown out, I have got an elegant page here. And the fact that it says crystal elegance was just another bonus for me for my bone folder and it's staring me in the face. Okay, now I'll put some tape, some washi tape, of course. And I've got this pretty one with the gold pieces around it, which is really quite pretty. I've had it for a couple of years and I've I've been using it very sparingly because it is just very pretty in my opinion. Now I could go all the way down to the end of the page, but I don't really want to do that right now. I just want to use this tape as a highlight, but I will take it across the entire top. Okay. Somebody asked me the other day how I was getting on with this journal. Well, I hadn't really started using it. But, um, it's 
going to be interesting. Let me put it that way. Now I'll get rid of these. It's like I said when I was showing you, I don't know how big it's going to get, how thick it's going to get, what I'm going to put in it, I really don't know. Now I can slide that in there like that. And you can see that there's that piece there. So that, okay, let's, let's push this down a little bit with the bone folder so make it a little bit smoother, not quite as bulky. Yeah, that works for me. That's good. Now I've got some of these lovely little advertisement stickers from Five Crazy Ladies and a dog named Flea. Five Crazy Ladies, uh, the only outlet that I'm aware that you can get these things is from the shop called Paper Flourish, which is one of my all-time favourite shops to visit. Now, I was going to put one down here, but I think I'll put them up there. Let's take that out. Now let's push these into the, the tissue paper with the bone folder. Now, it still needs something. I'm not sure what yet. Maybe I could take these off and put... No, I don't want to put a flower, a petal pocket in there. Because I don't think it would look... Oh, no, hang on. Yes, it does look nice. Okay, let's do that. Let's take these off if I can. No, I'm going to leave them there because this is going to cover it up anyway. That's all right. It'll just add strength to the page. That's fine. Now, a little bit of 450 glue. And I forgot to take the little glue cap off before I opened it. It makes it easier that way rather than trying to get it all out when it's partially closed partially open sorry the house is lovely and warm so the glue is working really really well I do like these petal pockets. I will be making many, many more of them, I think. Oh, that just sticks out down the bottom and that's okay too. That works. tear that off. I thought I had. Bother. It can stay off. It's not, it's not terribly important. OK, 
Okay, let's close this down. Now, do I have a tissue in the pocket of this jacket? Oh, yes, I do. Good, because that means I can take off the biggest blob of glue and save it dropping down somewhere where I don't want it to be. Okay, so having done that, I'm happy with that, but I still need something down here, I think. Because otherwise it's just, I've got a space there I can put something into. Maybe, because I've got so many of these A little matchbook, I don't want that in there. And we can have another floral one in there, I think. Yeah, I can still see that. I've got the an extra focal point there. With the petals, I've got advertisements there. All right, that's feeling a little more busy. Now, what else can I put on there? I forgot to bring over my fodder box again, didn't I? Goodness me, when am I going to learn? I've got these little birds and things in here that I can use. I won't put mushrooms on this because it doesn't really lend itself to mushrooms, I don't think. I don't want that there. Could I put it there? Would it look all right? Leaves there. I've got one of the little single birds. That could sit up there as well. I could put that there and a leaf under here so that it looks like it's sitting on a, a branch. About the flowers. And I could put... No, I think that's too much. Too much, too much. But I could put a couple of leaf sprays in here, could I not? That works well, I think I like that. And I can put a leaf spray over here just to tie it all in. Yes, that's what I will do. How to get the... Oh, that came off. No, it didn't come off easily. Drat. It's better. That leaf will get hidden or that stem will get hidden underneath the, the bird. So I'm not going to fuss about that too much. Now let's see if I can do this better without peeling the, the cardstock. Yes, I did. That little piece of sticker didn't come off there where I needed it to. This is the beauty of when you're fussy cutting, put some double-sided paper on the back of what you want to turn into a sticker and it's so much easier to cut around the two of them together. And then you can just put them on like you do a sticker. Easy peasy. Now I'll put this one in next. Oh, 
¿no? So the page is still elegant in my opinion, but it's just a lot prettier. That one needs to go underneath, so it's got to go in the first pencil. Just to let me know where to put the bottom of the stem. So that when I put it on, it is going to be in the right place and the little tail of the stem is going to be hidden, pardon me, hidden from view. Sometimes these work really, really quickly, and other times you struggle. Right, so I'm more than happy with this page. It's got the glossy photograph from the magazine, the instruction, some vintage type stickers, petal pocket, film strips and stickers. So thank you very, very much for watching. I will catch up with you in another episode of Mega Junk. There will be other videos in between, but this one, this is this page done. I'm happy. I hope you like it. Thanks everyone. Bye for now. Hey everyone, welcome to a bonus page in Mega Junk. I have created this page several years ago and had it inside another journal which I've dismantled. And I just love the amount of work that I've put into it, so I've kept it. It was done on the back of a an opened out book page. I've put the washi the not the I've put washi tape down the center and I've put the other tape pieces ready to put onto this manila folder. Now, it's lovely vibrant green. I bought some coloured folders a couple of years ago to do some filing in. And this was left over, so I thought, why not put it into Mega Junk? It's going to be pretty and bright. And why not? And what could be better than a cup of when crafting? Two cuppers. Isn't that so true? So two cup. Well, there's three there, but, you know, that's okay. All right. This is going to be a quick one, so I'm going to... Well, you'll notice that I've tacked it onto the end of another another page. And I might do that all the way through. Now that I'm learning how to edit, I can do this. I can do little quick videos and put them onto the tail end of a slightly longer one. I'm getting quite excited about learning how to edit these things and do clever things. So now I think I might have used a stencil to do the flowers and then just brush strokes to get these pieces here and then just put some things on it, some cutouts. Whatever I did, it worked. So I don't even remember when I made this. I just know I took it out of a journal a couple of years ago and it's been floating in my craft room ever since. And I came across it the other day when I was sorting. I'll be doing quite a lot of sorting and I'll be finding lots and lots of things that I can use. So you'll have to bear with me when I use some of my found treasures. I've likened to, um, you know, getting gifts for different reasons and seasons. and But it's very true. You come across something you haven't seen for a couple of years and you think, oh, wasn't I clever when I did that? 
or was I not so clever? What can I do to change it? But I'm not changing this, not one small bit, because I like it the way it is. And I think I'll put some different colour washi on the top part. And I will leave the sides. Well, actually, it'll be top and bottom when I put it in the journal. But mega junk is starting to take place. It's starting to take shape more than take place. It has a place, but it's just got to take shape now. I put a little piece of glue stick under there. Now anything else sticking up that shouldn't stick up? No, it's all good. Excellent. Right. Oh, can I put washi anywhere else? I think I might put a little bit along here in different places or a couple of places just because it's sticking up just a tiny little bit. Maybe I didn't get the tape quite close enough to the edge to, to hold it all down. But it's very bright, very colourful. And as you can see, the, the cups and the teapots are hand-drawn. So I did get adventurous. They're not brilliant, but they still look acceptable to my opinion. I think I'll use the other colour one, the pink one. Just in one spot, I think. Not that it needs a lot, just a tiny little bit of added colour never goes astray. And there we have another page for Mega Junk. Okay, so that's your bonus page for this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch up with you again later. Bye bye for now.